Hi everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to another video tutorial here at Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin. Today we are going to be making this self-close box bag project. <laughs> and it's super cute. You open it up like this, you just push the insides in, and you can fit candy in there, you can fit whatever you'd like, and then it just closes right up. So this is what we're gonna be making today. Let's go ahead and get started. First, what you're going to need is, oh, excuse me, a piece of cardstock, and this measures eight and a half by six. And we need our Simply Scored, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in here. Let me zoom you out a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so with your eight and a half inch at the top, you are going to score at four, and I like to use the um, big side of my um, stylus with Stampin' Up! you get a large side and a small side. And so for cardstock, I always use the large side. So we're gonna score at four and then at eight. Just like that, okay. Now we're gonna turn it around. So the six inch side is at, top, at the top and we are going to score at one. And we are going to score at five. All right, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna put it back with the eight and a half side at the top, and we're going to make sure that our little small section right here is to the right of our scoreboard. So now we're going to come over here to the two inch mark, and we are gonna score just right down to that one inch score mark. So we're gonna go to two, right to that score mark, and then we're gonna score at six, right to that score mark. So you should have a score at this top at two, four, but it goes all the way down, and then six, just right to that score mark right there. All right, so we're all done with the Simply Scored, so let's get that out of the way. Okay, so now the next thing that you need is a ruler, <clears throat> and I use just, um, let me open it here. There we go. A full pad of grid paper. You could use um, your piercing mat, but I find that this works a little bit better for me. And I'm just gonna try and move you in there again real fast. And I feel like there's a big shadow. I wonder if that's better. I hope that's better. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to make sure that our, now our little score mark right here is to the left side. So we have the bigger um, section here, and then we have the little sections down here, okay? We need to take our ruler, and what we need to do is we need to line our ruler up at this middle score mark right here, down to this score mark right here. Maybe I need to zoom you in even more. I don't know. Let me make sure you can see it. Okay, so from this score mark here to this score mark right here. Okay, all right. And then we're going to score. And the reason why I use the um, full pack of grid paper is because you need some cushion to make sure that you get a good score mark right there. Okay, now we're going to take the edge right here and we're gonna line our ruler up with that one down here that we just made. So here to here. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're going to score from this top point right here to this bottom point right here, okay? So from here to here, Oops. just like that. And then from here, this one over here, to this one down here, okay? So by the time you get all done scoring, you have all of these fabulous lines everywhere. Here, 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 here. Okay? All right. So now we're done with the scoring for now. 
So now we're going to take our scissors and there's a little rectangle right here and there's a little rectangle right here. Let's go ahead and cut those out. We don't need those. Okay, and then this one. Okay, now while we're over here, we're just going to come and we're gonna diagonal that. Diagonal that. So now it should look like that. All right. So now what we're going to do, I still feel like you're too close. All right, there we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold on all of our score lines. Just making sure that they're nice and reinforced. And sometimes you got to be careful with these ones because you know you did it on the grid paper so okay now it should look like that so now what we need to do is we need to take these bottom score marks right here and we need to cut up to that score mark right there okay and then on this one too up here so this is the bottom of your box this is going to make this right here this is the top of your box okay so now we're going to go ahead and get some of our red sticky and we're going to put just a little bit right here just like that come in here and cut it out there perfect so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our red sticky well first, let's decorate the front. I wasn't going to decorate it, but let's decorate the front. So in order to get your DSP, you need two pieces that are cut at three and three quarter by three and three quarter. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our paper trimmer and we're going to just make a quick score mark at one and seven eighths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the second notch right before the right before the two. Okay. So take that. Now I use a pen for this. And let me get this here. Now I'm gonna take my ruler from that score mark that we just made, the one and seven eighths. And actually I don't want to do it that way. Let's do it this way. See, you're learning with me now. So we're gonna take that one and seven eighths mark, we're gonna put it right in our cutter, and we're gonna cut. We're gonna put it right in our cutter, and we're gonna cut the diagonal, okay? So you come out with three little triangles, okay? So we need to do that to both pieces. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put this at one and seven eighths, Just like that. And I actually want it to go this way. Make a little mark. Okay, I can see it better from this way. That's why I'm flipping it over, but you don't have to flip it over. It doesn't matter. All right, put this in diagonally. Cut. Switch it over here. Cut. There. And so now we have all of our pieces. So we're going to get this back out of the way. You kind of want to not mix them up, really. Okay, so now where'd my project go? Okay, <laughs> I lost it. So now we're just going to take this and we're going to put some snail on the back. And we're going to line this up right here. And some people, you know, you don't have to decorate the back if you don't want to. If you don't want to put DSP, you absolutely don't have to. But I like to. And then we're going to put this one right here. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. It seems like the last couple of videos, he's been very noisy. <laughs> Right. 
and then this right here and then we're just going to keep building here now this one's going to go over here like that One's gonna go here. And then the last piece. Got some, oh my! Okay, probably shouldn't have done that, huh? Sorry guys, you probably all just got really seasick and my bad. <laughs> trying to get that other piece of adhesive off so my project didn't stick. Sorry guys. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our red sticky, we're going to take that off, fold this piece over to the inside, and then just fold this over. And this is also going to help to ensure that everything is nice and straight. Okay, there. So now, look, at it, it kind of just, when you go to, you know, do it, it just forms itself. And I need a little glue dot there because that... It's coming apart and I don't like that so I'm gonna put a little glue dot right here it's hard to get sticky on that and another little glue dot right here there we go okay cute cute okay so now we're just going to take these and then they would fold in just like that. So you could have done this beforehand before we closed it all up, but I got sidetracked because my camera fell down. <laughs> I tell you what, for as long as I've been doing videos, something always happens. It's <laughs> something always never ceases to amaze me. It is never boring here at Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin. I tell you what, the camera's falling, we always have dogs growling, or the phone's ringing, or, you know, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy what goes on here. And now my scissors don't work. Oh my gosh, I think for your guys' sake, I should start editing my videos. I let the dog out. Okay, so here we go. Now we're back. We're going to take the red sticky off here. Put this up. Get it straight and even. Then we're just going to come in and close this down. Now, like with any box or project or anything, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to do this right here. Just to make sure everything's good and stuck, which it is now. And then there you go. There is the self-close bag box. It's really, it's very simple. And then you would just decorate whatever side you want on the front. And when you open it, how cute. Now here's this other one too. And this one's using the new in color, the Cucumber Crush with the envelope DSP. It's very, very cute. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Until next time, happy inking.